Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello family, Pastor Laulu from Christian Pentecostal Church here and we'll continue our devotional series and we've been focusing on, um, I guess this all began with uh, us humbling ourselves and turning from our wicked ways so that God can heal our land and the fact that we are called, those who are called by his name, us Christians, we are called by his name specifically and we should humble ourselves and you know, so we started by continuing, touching on the Ten Commandments, because, I mean, there's nothing that gets more basic than that, right? You know, as a Christian, it doesn't mean that suddenly, oh, I have Christ. You know, he died for all my sins, so I shouldn't obey what the Word of God says. No, that's not accurate. That's not true. That's, especially in the commandment that we're going to be studying today, that it proves the point. And, you know, um, you know, it starts saying, if those who are called by my name, and it's just absolutely providential that we are on the commandment that talks about this very thing. So this is, I believe, the third commandment, and it's found in Exodus chapter 20, verse, oh, sorry, verse 7. It says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that, you know, for some, it might seem like this is simple things that we're talking about, but if our foundation isn't sure, then anything else we try to build upon won't stand. So let's make our foundation sure. Let's uh, turn from our wicked ways. Let's humble ourselves. Um, you know, Jesus touches upon this this commandment actually uh, in uh, Matthew chapter five, and because you know, taking the name of the Lord in vain. In old times and in current times, it's always been seen as, oh, you know, if I if I say I swear to God and things like that, then you know, and I don't obey. Or as Jesus said, if you don't fulfill your oath, you know, that if you give an oath, you give the oath unto God. But Jesus tells us that we should not do that very thing. We should not swear to God or swear by God because we cannot, you know, we we have no right to do such a thing and he simply said let your yes be yes and your no be no anything other than that comes from evil let your yes be yes and your no be no that we are to remain firm on what we say and what we do because in everything we do it's unto God so when it says that so then if we take it from that perspective and say we should not take the name of the Lord our God in vain, then how do we as Christians, if we can't swear to God or swear by God, how can we take the name of the Lord our God in vain? And it's actually very simple to do. You know, we are called by his name. Our focus scripture tells us that we are called by his name. You know, and we as children of God are attached to him. And by being attached to him, we represent him in all things. We represent his goodness. We represent his grace. We represent his love, his mercy, his splendor. We represent it all as children. It's like, I, I think a good way to look at it is like, you know, if you're a parent, or even if you're a brother or a sister, or somebody, we all have some form of family out there, you know, whether it's biological or not, but we have some sort of form of family. And it's imagine if a member of your family goes out, every time they step out or they're seen, they're representing you, you know, and how do they represent you and how they do so is a reflection on you and you will feel a certain way whether they represent you well or they don't. In the same vein, if we represent the name of the Lord our God incorrectly, then we represent it in vain. You know, if it's, you know, Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. As Christians, how do we take the name of God in vain? When we don't represent Christ as we should. When we present Christ in the light that he is not. When we do things that are contrary to the word of God, let us humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Let us humble ourselves and turn from the wickedness that we do 
because every single one of us, myself included, is guilty of this very commandment. So, you know, we've been going through this, like, this is the third commandment, and there isn't one yet that we're not all guilty of. But thank God for his, the grace to stand, the grace to strive towards that perfection in Christ. Let us strive to be more Christ-like. Let us not take the name of the Lord our God in vain. Let us not be the cause that the name of Christ is blasphemed among the nations. Because God said he will not hold us guiltless if we do so. There are repercussions. So God bless you. And until next time, let us hold the name of God in high regard and never in vain.